Judge under fire, a Macomb County judge finding herself on the other side of the law for allegedly sideswiping a car and driving away. Now the man she's accused of hitting is calling for her job. 7 Action News reporter Naya Harden is live in Roseville tonight. Naya, this isn't the first time she's been in trouble with the law, right? That's right, Carolyn, and it's a crazy story. This man tells us that he and his nine year old daughter were driving right over here, heading north on Gratiot near Masonic Boulevard. That's when they came over here, follow me to make this turn around. They say that judge was right next to them, floored it, sideswiping them, and acted as if nothing happened. Swerving on the road. James Nelson says he knew someone was on the road that shouldn't be. I was beeping the horn at her. Uh, didn't get her attention. She looked back at me and then floored it. He and his daughter were at the turnaround near Applebee's. And then um, I followed her to the end of the street, got her license plate, called 911. Um, and then she took off again. Nelson and his daughter went to the hospital. He chipped his tooth and had neck and back pain. His daughter was fine, but terrified. She was scared. She was screaming. She cried. Days later, police gave Nelson some unbelievable news. The person accused of hitting him was Honorable Judge Catherine Steenland. I'm still shocked. I mean, how could you hit someone not check see if they're all right or anything and just take off twice. This is not the first time she's been accused of breaking the law. Steenland was found driving under the influence in 2008. She was suspended from the bench for three months. Judge Santia with the 39th District Court says she's been out on back surgery since July. I decided to try the judge at home. Judge Steenland? She didn't answer. Nelson says he wants her fired. I mean, she's supposed to be promoting public safety and she's out here breaking the law. Now the judge is supposed to be back on the bench October 17th, but there's going to be some things she has to handle first. For example, she'll first have to meet with Michigan State Police who are investigating this, and then she'll also have to go through the Judicial Tenure Commission. They'll decide if she'll be back on that bench. Naya Harden, 7 Action News. All right, thank you so much, Naya.